Blockchain gaming has proven to be one of the hottest sectors and leading edge ventures in crypto in 2021. We've seen a range of crypto gaming tokens pulling 100Xs or more, heavyweight VCs pouring considerable sums of cash into the development of the gaming sphere, and a vast global community of players experimenting with its new set of yield generating opportunities. So, in my video today, I'm going to give you everything you need to know about the sector and where to look for hidden gems of opportunity. This, folks, you definitely don't want to miss. Before I can tell you about GameFi, there are a few terms and conditions that you need to abide by. If you came here looking for financial advice, well, then you're most definitely in the wrong place. There's only education and entertainment in this space. So contact a financial advisor before investing, just to be safe. If this is your first time making my acquaintance, my name is Guy and I love teaching crypto with patience. The Coin Bureau is where you'll find the highest quality crypto content. Everything from coins, tokens, news and reviews. And if you love crypto, I guarantee there's something here for you. If this sounds like something you want, subscribe to the channel and ping that notification bell to make sure you get it while it's hot. If time is something beyond your control, you can skip around using the timestamps in the video timeline below. But if you can watch until the end, that's gold. OK, that's it for my intro. Let's get cracking and tackle GameFi in full stride. GameFi is one of the hottest topics in the crypto industry right now, and for good reason. But before I analyze exactly what GameFi is and what its primary elements are, a little context might be useful. According to a recent report by Accenture, the full value of the global gaming industry now exceeds $300 billion. And yes, you did hear that correctly. Accenture also noted that the gaming demographic has increased by half a billion players over the course of the past three years, with approximately 2.7 billion active gamers worldwide, a number that's expected to grow by roughly 10% per year between 2021 and 2025. It was perhaps only to be expected that the lucrative gaming industry and the cutting-edge infrastructure of blockchain technology would jump into bed together at some point. This is because gaming applications being developed on the decentralized frameworks offered by blockchain allow players to leverage some of the most innovative DeFi functionalities and NFT implementations, opening up a completely alternative spectrum of financial opportunities. These elements have therefore enabled blockchain-based gaming protocols to turn into a real catalyst in the space, and not just for their gamified implementations of DeFi principles, but because they have progressively started merging with the economic, artistic, and unique financial propositions inherent in non-fungible tokens. OK, so now that you have a better understanding of the current gaming market and how blockchain and NFTs are ultimately poised to disrupt it, let me tell you exactly what GameFi is all about. Now, the term GameFi is an amalgam of two separate words, game and finance and it obviously refers to the financialization of video gaming. Now, GameFi has become a bit of a buzzword lately, and it is actually a rather broad term in itself, as some titles generally considered to be GameFi may have entirely different financial elements to others. For instance, some blockchain games revolve around rewarding players for completing in-game tasks, while others may enable revenue generation from the various underlying assets that a player owns. That said, it is important to note here that the games considered to be a part of this exciting and emerging sector in crypto, in most cases, require players to leverage a mix of skill and strategy to generate yield. And although luck may be a component, it's by no means the predominant factor in determining who wins or is eligible for financial reward. Next, a bit of history. The origins of the term GameFi can be traced back to November 2019, when the founders of Mixmarvel, a blockchain game publishing platform, delivered speeches at the Wuzhen World Blockchain Conference in China on how the underlying technology of blockchain could completely revolutionize the video gaming industry. Perhaps more famously, however, the term was visibly first used by André Cronier, the founder of Yearn Finance, in a tweet back in September 2020. And Ever since, GameFi has been used on a regular basis to describe those games with a built-in set of financial elements 
enabled by blockchain technology. Now, while the term GameFi has only recently entered the everyday crypto lingo, its history actually dates back almost as far as the early days of Satoshi. For instance, those early Minecraft servers with Bitcoin integrations. The 2013 website Gambit.com, pioneering games like Bombermine and those early peer-to-peer -peer services enabling players to monetize mainstream titles with Bitcoin. They embody some of the earliest examples of what we now consider to be, in effect, GameFi structures. But with the launch of Ethereum back in 2015 and with the development of the ERC721 token standard for NFTs, a plethora of exciting opportunities suddenly opened up for players and game developers, tapping into their wildest imaginations and ushering in an innovative paradigm for the whole gaming industry. And interestingly enough, the earliest pre-GameFi expression of blockchain gaming and NFT symbiosis dates back to 2017 when the cat-inspired collectibles games CryptoKitties infamously almost brought the Ethereum network to a standstill due to its unprecedented success and massive demand. And while this was perhaps only a primordial example of GameFi on Ethereum, it did indeed set the scene for the more sophisticated games that exist in the space today. Currently, GameFi comes in many different shapes and sizes, and as such, the mechanisms by which players can generate yield through their gameplay can vary from game to game. That being said, there is some common ground here, and this is because blockchain-based gaming protocols primarily revolve around three main features. These are play-to-earn, DeFi components, and asset ownership. Okay, now I know that I mentioned the CryptoKitties, and I also do acknowledge that they aren't necessarily the most aesthetically pleasing NFTs you've ever laid your eyes on. But their role in the development of the early play-to-earn and NFT environment was truly unprecedented. In fact, I would even go as far as to say that they constituted the ultimate inspiration that led to the development of the now universally recognized and globally played Axie Infinity game. I mean, their NFTs do look quite similar, right? Now, since its inception back in 2018, Axie Infinity has helped architect a new genre in the gaming vertical and has focused on building the infrastructure necessary for players to enjoy the benefits of advanced blockchain-powered gameplay while also profiting handsomely along the way. This new gaming vertical, initially pioneered by the CryptoKitties movement and more recently brought to life by Axie Infinity, is commonly referred to as play to earn. Now, what fascinates me about play to earn is that as opposed to earlier blockchain games where users relied mainly on random chances to make a profit, play to earn has actually introduced a fully fledged suite of financial utilities and advanced in game economies built on the set of both fungible and non fungible tokens. For instance, the underlying pioneering force of Axie Infinity relies on its entirely unique, value rich, and thriving microeconomic structure revolving around its platform and its fungible and non-fungible tokens alone. This is because, in parallel with players battling, breeding, buying and selling those funny-looking Pokemon-inspired Axie NFTs, the game's proprietary and in-house play-to-earn ecosystem has fueled the development of an Axie native business model based on staking, farming and arbitrage opportunities. Now, I don't intend to dive too deep into how Axie works here, but if you'd like to know more about it, feel free to check out my most recent video I made on it, which you'll find up there in the top right. But as a TLDR, play-to-earn games like Axie Infinity provide players with financial incentives to keep on playing and progressing over time, and there is usually a grinding element based on the repetition of certain actions through which users can earn an income. For Axie, as per the majority of play-to-earn games, players can generate yield in three different ways. Firstly, players can earn in-game tokens, such as Axie Infinity's Smooth Love Potion, SLP, which are acquired by completing daily tasks or quests, or by battling other Axies and players. The second way through which players can generate yield in P2E games is by earning or trading in-game NFTs. Now, these in-game NFTs may represent an item, a character, or another collectible in the game, and depending on the game itself, they can be purely cosmetic or fulfill a specific use case and possess a diverse set of utilities. I personally find the proposition of generating yield by leveraging the utility of an in-game NFT as perhaps one of the most cutting-edge features 
offered by the play-to-earn ecosystem. I mean, just think about it. I could take one of these little monsters and generate in-game rewards by battling other players with it. It's a pretty mind-blowing concept, and it really does illustrate the power and potential of NFTs. Anywho, I digress. Another method through which players can earn an income is through staking, tying in to the DeFi features mentioned above. In fact, some NFT games allow users to lock up their in-game fungible tokens or their NFT assets in smart contracts, which in turn enables players to generate staking rewards and earn interest. Now, in my eyes, this is a fascinating new development coming out of both the play-to-earn and GameFi ecosystems, and this is because it seems to be the next logical step when it comes to staking in gamified DeFi protocols. Okay, I know this might sound a bit odd, but let me explain. One of the most relevant examples when it comes to staking in the play-to-earn ecosystem is Yield Guild Games, a blockchain gaming guild. And full disclosure, I also hold YGG in my personal portfolio, and the Coin Bureau has invested in a YGG SubDAO's strategic round, YGG SEA. But what is YGG and how does a blockchain gaming guild work? Well, Through an intricate sub-DAO structure, it enables players to lock funds and essentially stake their tokens into a specific environment that the guild is actively involved in. For instance, investors could stake their tokens in a YGG sub-DAO dedicated specifically to the farming and breeding of Axie NFTs, allowing them to capture the value and reap the rewards from the guild's Axie breeding endeavors. Alternatively, If they'd like to have exposure to the reward system offered by another blockchain game, well, they'll be able to do so directly from the YGG portal. Given the DeFi-infused features powering the majority of play-to-earn games, such as staking, yield farming, and liquidity mining, I'm tempted to say that GameFi could very well become the next big movement in the DeFi space. This is because it already allows players to stake their in-game tokens and earn interest similarly to the way you would normally stake, say, your BTC or stablecoins in a traditional DeFi protocol. Now, the third and arguably most exciting component characterizing the GameFi ecosystem is in-game asset ownership through non-fungible tokens. And ultimately, there are many reasons why the marriage of NFTs and gaming is increasingly proven to be one made in heaven. Let me tell you why. Gamers have traded virtual assets for years, from Second Life's real estate and World of Warcraft's gold to Dota and Fortnite's cosmetic character skins. These virtual economies have thus far operated almost exclusively within what are called walled gardens, or enclosed and centrally controlled marketplaces that have prohibited players from exchanging their in-game assets for real-world economic value, such as fiat or crypto. Players have actively tried to circumvent these centralized structures time and time again, usually resulting in untrustworthy markets subject to fraud and failure. Furthermore, in almost all previous models of online gaming, a game's virtual items that could be purchased were rather limited in scope. They were siloed and specific to that particular game, and they could only be accessed from a single account. This means that if a gamer's account was lost, stolen, or disabled, all the money they had spent on in-game items would be lost forever. And to this day, this model is actually still the most widely accepted among traditional gaming communities, and it represents a reality that most players have unfortunately come to live with. Blockchain-powered gaming, however, can break these centralized and at times inconvenient structures wide open so that players can freely exchange value and earn yield for their work dedication, and time spent in-game. And all thanks to the power of NFTs. By tokenizing in-game items as NFTs, gamers can literally own and control what they buy, earn, and generate during their gameplay for the first time ever. Furthermore, with in-game NFTs, it's more than just being able to prove that a character's accessories and wearables are rare, expensive, or unique as non-fungible tokens enable players to leverage an extraordinary spectrum of additional use cases and utilities that were yet to be seen before NFTs finally came into the equation. These include, for instance, the ability to buy and sell in-game NFTs on secondary marketplaces, move them cross-chain and between multiple games, 
while also fundamentally retaining the underlying value of their in-game assets as a whole. This is simply not feasible nor possible within most AAA games today. So, forget all those funky Call of Duty skins, guys, because when it comes down to it, you actually do not own them. So, do bear that in mind. In order to solve this, Big Time Studios, a gaming suite spearheaded by Decentraland co-founder Ari Malik, seeks to introduce the benefits of NFT technology to AAA games in the traditional gaming realm in the near future. This would technically allow players to unlock the full potential of the virtual assets they purchase to increase the quality of their gameplay while also allowing them to benefit from their tradable and real-world economic value. Oh, and full disclosure, I have also just invested in Big Time's Space NFTs, which are unique in-game items. Now, ultimately, it's clear that digital ownership of unique assets can create financial opportunities that were not feasible beforehand, especially in third-world countries hit by geopolitical and economic instability, such as certain areas in Southeast Asia, for example. For instance, in CryptoKitties or Axie Infinity, players can breed two creatures represented on-chain as NFTs to generate a third creature, which can then be leveraged to farm more AXS or SLP tokens, creating a sophisticated and cyclical in-game market structure. Now, the ability to earn while playing the game also led to the formation of what is commonly referred to as an Axie Scholarship. This is a system that sees well-established Axie NFT holders lend out their assets to other smaller players or gaming communities around the globe to generate yield on their behalf in exchange for a cut of the profits based on a revenue-sharing model. This, in turn, has ever since proven to be a pretty decent business model for blockchain gaming protocols, and it has led to the creation of the gaming guilds that we see in the GameFi space today, like YGG and Merit Circle, for instance. But that's perhaps a topic for another video. All in all, what's particularly important to understand here is that in-game NFTs are revolutionizing the way players engage with their time spent in the virtual domain. This is done by allowing them to leverage a new and alternative paradigm of economic propositions fueled by digital asset ownership and in-game NFTs. Okay, so Axies and CryptoKitties aside, GameFi-oriented NFT implementations can also be found in the majority of metaverse-based protocols and online virtual worlds, including the Sandbox, Decentraland, Somnium Space, among others. These virtual worlds enable their inhabitants to monetize their time spent in-game via digital asset ownership. Now, at the very heart of these metaverse ecosystems is the concept of land ownership, with some land plots located within top-tier virtual environments going for some truly jaw-dropping amounts. Oh, I'll leave links to my videos on the metaverse and top five land ecosystems in the description below if you're keen to know more. What's particularly interesting about GameFi land projects, however, is that land owners can monetize their digital real estate in much the same way that they would be able to in the physical world. Because these land plots are represented as NFTs, owners can outright sell their owned land to prospective buyers. They can also develop an attraction that may generate value over time, such as a metaverse events or concert hall in a prime location. Or they could lease it out for someone else to monetize, essentially making their in-world land plots a real GameFi-infused proposition. I think GameFi embodies one of the most exciting and leading-edge ecosystems in the blockchain space at the moment, and I foresee an incredibly bright future for some play-to-earn games, especially those with first-mover advantage like Axie, The Sandbox, Decentraland, and a plethora of others. Thus, because this is such a fascinating space at this point in the history of blockchain, I'll definitely be coming back with a second video in this series, perhaps looking at some more of the hottest games right now. Now, despite having roots that run all the way back to Bitcoin and to the very beginning of cryptocurrency, GameFi is only just now starting to gain mainstream momentum and widespread appeal. And while previous blockchain games struggled to mobilize the GameFi movement that we're witnessing today, the technology backing them and the general understanding of it has developed to the point where new GameFi titles are finding large fan bases. Now, for some, blockchain gaming could prove to be the most likely route to the mainstream adoption of crypto and blockchain technology 
on a global scale. This is because the more than 2.7 billion active gamers worldwide are already pretty familiar with scarce digital items and the tokenization of in-game assets. Play-to-earn structures can empower these gamers in a way that has clear financial benefits. Therefore, I find it rather difficult to imagine that GameFi isn't destined in some shape or form to take increasingly bigger bites out of that lucrative global gaming market. The Blockchain Gaming Alliance, for instance, has already ramped up quite a serious number of members, including the mainstream game studio Ubisoft and the American chip manufacturer AMD. Therefore, given the ultimate success of play-to-earn games such as Axie Infinity, as well as the number of innovative blockchain games currently being developed, it's clear that the GameFi ecosystem has a bright future ahead of it. And while it remains quite complex to predict how this future will unfold, I do remain bullish on the GameFi sphere as a whole. But this definitely does not mean that every protocol implementing play-to-earn features is destined to succeed in the long term. So, as always, folks, please do make sure you do your proper due diligence before you ape into your first GameFi play. Okay? And that concludes my video on GameFi and its ecosystem today. But I'm sure you'll have loads of interesting questions, folks, so please, don't hesitate to let me know and fire those down in the comments section below. What do you think about GameFi and Play to Earn? Have you played any blockchain games recently? If so, which ones and how did you find them? I'm really curious to know your thoughts on this. Now, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you want to keep getting the highest quality crypto content on the block. Oh, and remember to ping that notification bell as well. That really would be swell as hell. Make sure you also check out the Coin Bureau Clips channel to get all the info you need on emergency market updates, crypto projects, and exclusive behind-the-scenes content right away. I'll see you again very soon, but until then, this is where else I can be found. TikTok, Telegram, Instagram, and Twitter. Subscribing to my weekly newsletter will make your gains stick forever and therefore make your life super. Make sure to check out our Coin Bureau merch store, and if you have any extra cash for a groovy tea or sweater, then all the better. Thanks so much for watching, folks, and I'll see you all very soon. This is Guy bidding you goodbye.